Welcome class. So this week we're going to talk about texture. Now texture is something that you feel with your hands. So for instance if I have this little uh, twig or little piece of a leaf from a tree, I can feel it with my hands and feel that it feels rough and it sort of has little patterns. And this is what we call texture. This is a real simple drawing. You will have to use some watercolors maybe or maybe crayons. Um, it's up to you. I think watercolors works best so I hope you still have some. We're going to create a texture drawing. Alright, so I'm going to show you how to do this. You're going to watch me do it and you can do it with me. Okay? Okay, so we were talking about texture and what that means is that we're going to draw all kinds of little patterns and little marks that kind of create something that feels like it's got texture. Okay? Something that feels like if I could touch it, I could feel it. So I want you to take a white piece of paper, like we always do, and first I'm going to draw it with my pencil. I'm just going to draw, I'm going to go ahead and copy this one to show you, um, to show you an idea. So I'm going to draw what I call little mountains, and they can be squiggly, and they can go in front, and in back, and they can be pointy, they can be very tall just little mountains. Then I'm going to add a squiggly line. This kind of represents a river. Right? A of rocks. Something that looks like rocks, which are just weird shapes. We call these organic shapes, right? Because they're all different kinds. I can make things that look like circles, and that could be a rock. And then I can make organic shapes. And I'll put some in the front and some in the back. There. Make a little one here. So these are my rocks, right? So I've got my rocks here. Got a couple flowers, some land, a river, and some mountains. And I think I will do what they did and I'll add the sun. All right, so now that I drew my picture, we're going to start by painting every section in first before we do our pattern. So I'm going to paint all these different colors, and you can paint all kinds of fun colors. They don't have to be real colors. You can make them funny. You can make them like, you know, a purple mountain and all kinds of things. So I'm going to take a brush, but you guys remember you also have your sponge. So you can use your sponge. Um, I like using both. So I'm going to start by painting this, these mountains different colors. And I am using my watercolors. I'm going to put my watercolors here on top of a little paper towel because I'm going to need that. And I'm just going to paint. I'll start with the mountains and then I'll paint everything else. I think I would like to start with red. Here we go. And I'm just going to add a nice red on the mountain here. On this first one it's going to be a light red. And it's okay if I go over the line. Okay. And so I'm going to continue painting till I get all my mountains painted. And then I'm going to do my water. And I'm going to get blue. And so I'm going to paint everything and I'll be right back. So I did, um, I like to call these washes, just very light colors that I painted everything. Uh, I want to give you a little, I want to give you a little tip. So whenever you paint something, if you paint one side a little bit darker, it gives it a little bit of a shape, 
okay so that's what I did too with the rocks I kind of made some dark some light some really dark and it gives them a shadow so that they look like they're real shapes so now I've I've let this dry and I've got some markers that I've brought out here because I'm going to make sure that all my markers are kind of going to match my colors, but they don't have to. And you know what? You guys can do anything you want. I'm just doing the little mountains and the rivers and the flowers so that it looks like the sample I showed you. But you can make a, a, a house, you can make your bedroom like your bed and your animals. You can make animals, anything you want as long as each shape in your picture has patterns okay because that's what we want to do we want to give it texture so I'm going to start with my sky and you can see I put loopy loops <laughs> loopy loops I'm just going to put little loops and you know this is going to take time to do and you have to be patient and go slow so that it doesn't you don't get tired but you're going to do this and you want to fill the whole page up with all your beautiful patterns and designs. I'm going to finish the sky and then I'm going to do little squiggly lines here that are going to start from the middle. Okay, so I will continue. I will add more shapes, more textures, and do the whole paper. I want to see the whole paper covered, and I'll let you see how it looks at the end. All right, you guys have a lot of fun doing this.